this is Octobotomus coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Voyager Class Optimus Prime. Now this is the second uh, Voyager Class Optimus Prime that we've gotten in this uh, Transformers Prime line. The first obviously being the first edition. This one being the more mass release Robots in Disguise version. As you can see, really nice packaging on here with a huge open face. Uh, you can try me and he's got this little gimmick thing here and you can kind of see the light going on he's got a glowing battle blaster level 2 transformation i do kind of like the artwork on here it's nice it's bright it, it does look pretty good you got I, I never did understand why they got a window right here oh look i can see the top of them okay transformers prime voyager class yes it does say voyager class Optimus, really cool picture of him there. You got his stats here on this side, and it says that it took long years of patient training, battlefield experience, and constant modifications for Optimus Prime to achieve the raw might with which he combats Megatron and the Decepticons. Now he is a perfect warrior and courageous leader against whom evil can never stand. Uh, you got the tech specs right down here. Flip the around here on the back, and you see his uh, robot mode, vehicle mode, other characters, I suppose. And you see that he does come with a, a combat sword, which he actually holds, as opposed to it just coming out and just being a, a blade like in the actual show. So I'm not, not entirely sure how that's going to work. And then you see that the weapon activates an energon glow. Okay, I guess that's a... Uh, the whole idea then you flip around here on the bottom and you can see megatron which i'm actually more interested in actually seeing but um there's the packaging form now for all intents and purposes this is the uh the weaker of the two voyager optimus prime figures but let's get him open give him a fair look and see what we have okay guys so here we have the transformers prime robots in disguise voyager class optimus prime opened up out of packaging and in his vehicle mode now, one thing that you might kind of notice right off the bat is uh, his proportions look really kind of weird. One of the biggest problems that I instantly noticed was this guy looks really short, but still very tall. Now, for comparison, here he is, and here he is next to the actual first edition version of Optimus Prime. Now, as you can see, for the most part, these guys are almost exactly the same height. In addition to some of the other changes that you can see, uh, such as the, the lighter gray plastic on the first edition, you had the darker kind of gunmetal gray here on the R.I.D. version, and the, uh, the color of the red, I suppose. This looks just a whole lot more accurate, in my opinion. This is very bright red. This is very kind of Optimus Prime-ish, whereas this one has a darker color to it that, to me, looks more accurate. Uh, but one thing that you're not going to notice, um, if I get these lined up, perfectly you can see that the rid one is a lot shorter here um hopefully you can see that and that comes across fairly well now when you have them lined up perfectly you can also see that the cab section here is scooted forward a little bit more which really does give a much more kind of squat look to him but he's the same height and the actual bottom section here if we line it up you can see is considerably shorter so this guy really is a strangely looking figure not only that you can see here that this is a very up and down kind of cab section whereas this one slopes a little bit more again something that's a little bit more accurate to how this semi truck really does kind of look the other thing that i really kind of dislike on this is this gray bit right here it probably would look better if it's red like on the first edition but i do like the fact that he actually has rear view mirrors here or side view mirrors and he's got an actual Autobot logo, something that this guy does not have at the top. So, I mean, you can really see that. J just in general, the first edition is a much nicer figure. This one's not a bad figure. And if this is what you have to settle for, well, it's, it's not terrible. But you can see that, at least in my opinion, the first edition version is just so much better than this R.I.D. one. As for his accessories, uh, he does come with this sword that I talked about, which does nicely kind of replicate the, the battle blades, or specifically the battle blade that the first edition figure had. I mean, obviously it looks considerably different, and he holds this as opposed to this one kind of replicating how it comes out of his arm, but you can see that it's kind of in the same general shape, at least in terms of the blade. So that's not too bad, and, and it's a sword. I mean, I know a lot of people like swords, so that's not too bad. Now, these new Voyager figures are called Powerizers, uh, which basically means that they took the mech tech gimmick from the Dark of the Moon line and put a power source in it, in a light. And then when you take it and you move it, you can see the light actually comes out. So here's the mech tech gimmick, and then the light comes in here. And it's got this translucent blue plastic here, which 
just it, it, it doesn't work I mean the gun by itself doesn't look too bad but you can't really lock it into place I, I wish there was a way I could actually lock it like this and have them actually hold this because that's actually a pretty cool looking gun very in my opinion reminiscent of the G1 Optimus Prime's gun I mean you have the big long barrel here you got the bit that sticks up I mean it's not too terribly bad uh, but the, it, it, it springs back obviously and it just is a poor execution now you have uh, three little pegs here you can peg it here on that side you can plug it into the center trailer hitch if you want but that's a little bit loose and that falls out or you can peg it on that side and then this also can peg into any of these holes that you really kind of want and you can also take this and you can plug that together and you can plug that in there if you want to all of the configurations for the storage of this weapon in vehicle mode look completely retarded though i'm sorry they, they, they just look really dumb I, I don't like it at all the uh the gun just in my opinion really kind of fails and as you can see you can keep that attached there or you can take this and you can plug it here on the side so however you really want to display it you have a lot of different options with it that just all of them kind of stink now when it comes to the transformation for this guy, well it's a completely newly molded version of the Transformers Prime Optimus. The transformation for it really didn't get that much more complicated. That being said, it is a much easier transformation, at least in my opinion, when you compare it to the first edition guy. First what you want to do, just separate these little side panels, just like that, and you have flying mode Optimus Prime, basically. Take this section here, this pops off. Just kind of swivel that back and then you can angle these down and then these are going to fall down just like so. Take these and make sure you fold them all the way down and then they peg into, peg into place right there. Go ahead and separate them. Fold these little feet from the inside down and around. Do that on this side as well. Down and around. And basically you have his legs pretty much done. Come around here to the side, grab hold of this separate this well separate this pull that forward that makes it a little bit easier and then just untab this section this kind of gets really tabbed in there very good so i don't want to break it obviously but there well come on why why won't you untab there we go that tabs in there really stiff do that on that side okay there we go and then rotate these down and around and they're pretty much going to be positioned right there like that in vehicle or robot mode uh, straighten this out come around here to these arms these are going to separate and then as you pull them out angle them out like so bring this down that'll pop into place just like so you can rotate those around just to get them out of the way there well there we go now just now, it's coming out to be a big giant mess and it really isn't that difficult. Pull these out just like so. Pull these down. That's gonna pop into place just like so. Then this entire top section, right up in here, rotate that around, that reveals his head. Slide this section up and down. And this part's actually a little bit complicated to do, um, believe it or not. Kinda get these out of the way, fold that down and then fold that down just like so and get these out of the way. Uh, now, you can kind of see that there are little grooves here, here, and then a little tab here. You have to line it up very perfectly. There's a little slots on the side here that fit in here, and then there's a little groove section that fits into that. So slide that up, kind of plug that in, and then you have to kind of look at it from the side here and make sure that you lock that in Just like so. Um, it's it's kind of complicated to be honest. Mostly because it's kind of hard to see up inside there. Rotate these arms down. Fold down the hands. Rotate that around. Rotate that around. Fold down the hands. And straighten out the head. Stra straighten out the legs. And here you have Optimus Prime. Um, there we go. In his robot mode. Now I don't know. When it comes down to this figure, it's really not all that bad. But compared to the first edition, it unfortunately does fall kind of short. I mean, literally, he's shorter than the first edition figure. The first edition one just does so much right, in my opinion. As you can see, though, a much nicer representation. He just has a much more streamlined look, I suppose, and just, in general, a, a better looking character, I, I, I really guess. Uh, especially when you come here to the back. I mean, this is ugly. Just absolutely ugly. And then it goes down on this weird angle, just like so. Um, 
as opposed to this one which goes inward and then like you see here you actually can see the smokestacks which is accurate to the show um his smokestacks you can kind of see them if you get them positioned just right but barely all you really see are the little red bits and that really kind of sucks i mean that's probably my biggest gripe with it that just the whole back section here just looks absolutely terrible and then really doesn't help the front profile uh, come across and look very accurate now he's also got these translucent blue bits here on his forearms which i don't get i i i have no idea why they included that oh wait he comes with this thing yeah I forgot about this. So, um, he actually does have a kind of hard time holding the gun. It, it does, it, it sits in there, but not too terribly well. It, it's fairly loose because the peg, as you can see, is kind of small and it doesn't go all the way down his hand. So he doesn't hold it very well, but guess what? He's got this little hole right here on his forearm that you can plug it in. And then you can go like this in here. I'm gonna show you. You have them like that. And then you take it and, oh, look, that's what he does. And because the light is there and you got the clear plastic, it kind of lights up his arm. Really? That's that's what we're going to do with this guy, huh? Okay. All right. Thrilled. Super excited. Awesome. And then he can take his sword. And, of course, you know, he can hold it. And uh, that looks really cool. Except, again, not accurate. But I still like the fact that it comes with a sword. I think that's really kind of neat. I mean, I do like the sword aspect. Uh, I guess you could plug it here if you wanted. And have a weird blade thing come out of him. Uh, but the other really kind of cool thing is you can kind of move this off to the side. And you see there are little peg holes here at the top. Which means you can take his cannon and you can transform him into sound wave apparently and you can put a cannon on his shoulder and you can have him shoot his cannon oh and i just separ separated his entire torso that's stupid okay i can't get that peg back in I'll, I'll do it in a minute but as you can see um really stupid gimmick he, he doesn't need to have a shoulder cannon it's optimus prime why he needs to have that it really doesn't make any sense to me so in, in my opinion that's a real total fail we've never seen it in the show i never remember ever an optimus prime having a shoulder cannon but let, let's put it on there anyhow now in terms of his articulation his head's on this ball joint so you get a nice range of motion with that left right blah 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 the uh, the shoulders here there are on this kind of weird angle joint it co the ball joint goes up on an angle so when you rotate it you can't really get him to go completely straight with this arm uh, because of that joint there and then there's not enough clearance in the actual socket part uh, he rotates at the upper part of the bicep he bends at the elbow uh, his wrist moves forward and back but that's part of the transformation nothing at the waist the the hips here are on ball joints he also rotates at the upper part of the thigh bends at the knee and then there's a lot of pivot here in the foot so you do get a nice range of motion with them um but uh i mean there there's the dramatic i'm i'm bending my knee to battle you pose or, or, well no that kind of sucked but there you go i mean it's just it's it's not a bad figure it, it really isn't it, it's just again once you compare it to the first edition these these figures just really kind of fall short in my my opinion now the only rid one that really went, that has a first edition counterpart that i think supersedes the the first edition would probably be the Viacon, which is due to come out here shortly. And hopefully I'll have that fairly soon so I can actually do a review for you guys. It's just really, really unfortunate that the first edition, which is the better version, is very difficult for people to actually get a hold of. Now you can get it, you just have to do it on like eBay and on the internet and things of that nature, making it a little bit more expensive. Which when it comes down to it, it's gonna put a lot of people off because they can't afford to get that. And that really does kind of suck. One thing that I really think that this figure does actually improve upon is the transformation back from robot to vehicle mode. This guy is a little bit easier to do than the first edition. First what you want to do, take these sections here, rotate these around and angle these out just like so. And then take these, you can separate these if you want, kind of get these untabbed and loose so he's got giant goofy things here. <laughs> take this uh, section here, separate this angle this down just like so and then these sections here you fold together just like that take the head rotate that down and around like that 
rotate these. Kind of get these out of the way. Rotate this section back like so. And then swivel these down and around. Coming across the front of the car or truck. Do that on this side as well. And then these little bits here will tap together right at the forearms, just like so. And then keep this section down. It'll make things a little bit easier. At least it should uh, bring these bits together. And then you have to get this. And I always have a hard time with this because I don't have fingernails. So fold this bit out. Fold this bit out on that side as well. And bring these together. And these are going to tab together like so. And then these just rotate and come across. And these peg down just like that. Kind of angle these out. Rotate these bits up there just like so do that on this side as well and then bring this closed that kind of locks it into place rotate these down and around make sure you tab this all the way up so that's as you can see right now it's uh separated right here you just want to give that a nice little push just to kind of lock that into place bring these legs back fold these up all the way, they, uh, they're on double hinges here. You need to extend them all the way up. And then take these feet, rotate these around. I actually do like the feet here on the RID version a little bit better than the, than the first edition one, just because they're kind of cohesive and they're all the same color. I think that looks nicer. Rotate that up just like so. Peg these together just like that. Bend these down, rotate these forward, and then these are gonna tuck up underneath there just like so. Rotate this around, bring this up. That tabs into place just like that. Do the same on this side. And boom. Like I said, give everything a nice little squeeze so everything's lined up properly. And as you can see, I mean, that's a fairly easy transformation back into his vehicle mode. But when it comes down to it, guys, this version of Optimus Prime really, in my opinion, completely falls short. And a lot of it just has to do with the fact that it really doesn't give me the feel of the Transformers Prime Optimus Prime figure, or character for that matter. When you look at the vehicle mode, what, the biggest problem that I have with it is obviously the very shortened stature uh, this way, when compared to the very tall stature that it still has. Uh, I mean, if it came out just a little bit further, it would probably look a lot nicer. And I probably wouldn't have that many problems with the vehicle mode. The transformation is actually still pretty fun to do. It has enough of a challenge where it's not too easy and you become bored with it. Now the robot mode really is what I think the, is the weakest part of this entire figure. The way the back is designed just really looks kind of ugly. And it's really uh, unimpressive that they weren't able to utilize the, the smokestacks here in the proper way like the first edition was able to do successfully i might add and while the uh, translucent bit here for the windshield actually does look pretty good the translucent plastic on his forearms just really is kind of goofy looking that just goes along with the whole power eyes or gimmick which for megatron i thought it worked fairly well because it kind of replicated that dark energon uh flow through him which worked optimus prime doesn't really have that going for him, so I, I, I can't get into it that much. And then transforming it back, at least in, in my opinion, I think it's easier to transform this guy back into his vehicle mode than it is to transform the first edition. So this one, in terms of that transformation, supersedes the transformation from the first edition Optimus Prime. So that's definitely a bonus for this guy. Now the unfortunate nature of things is the far superior figure is not available to a lot of people. They're unfortunately going to have to settle for this guy, which just... Yeah, it, it really is blah, in my opinion. And when a far superior version is out there, it's hard for me to recommend to you guys to get this. My honest recommendation would be save the money that you're going to pay for this and save a little bit more and buy the first edition Optimus. That one, without a doubt, is worth it. This one's fun to have <laughs> if things like accuracy really don't matter to you. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomus. I'll talk to you later.